Okay, uh, so uh, welcome everyone to week eight uh, of the UTG program. Let me just start uh, by sharing the joining do document. So is it visible now? Okay, so uh, so for this week, uh, what we are going to do is just uh, use AI to uh, uh, the hiring process of uh, and other HR processes. So for this week, you're gonna be working as a OP. Uh, the let me just go through the project scenario here. So you're gonna be working as OM, operations manager in a company called ISO uh, PIM. And uh, you're going to go through uh, all of the hiring processes, uh, starting from creating the, like drafting the job description, uh, screening the candidates that applied, and uh, preparing an interview, and uh, just uh, documenting uh, everything you did. I think, uh, Kolaju, you have your mic on. Okay. okay. So, so I just, uh, as I have said, you are going to be working as a, the operations manager at this company, and you're going to be uh, going through uh, in the entire hiring process, uh, and uh, just go through these processes in order to find the fit employee the right employee. So uh, the specific goals of this, uh, of you, uh, like what you're going to be working on is, you're gonna start by creating a job description and posting. So you're gonna write the job description for the positions. We have seven po uh, positions that you are going to be working on. Uh, so the first one is the finance. Uh, position the information te technology, the business development, public relation, digital media, sales, and HR. So you're, you're going to be creating seven uh, job descriptions, uh, and you're going to, uh, we have actually uh, uh, like prepared a list of uh, resumes. So, uh, like, after you have po posted the job, the description these people have applied for this position right so you're gonna assume that uh, these people have applied for this position and uh, you're gonna pick five candidates at random for this task you're gonna be uh, working with five candidates from each uh, job so you're gonna have uh, five for each seven job descriptions after that you are going to use ai in order to help you uh, screen the resumes that you have selected from the uh, what you have selected you're gonna come up with a final uh, draft of two candidates uh, and you're gonna have an interview right so you're gonna use ai to create interview questions the interviews is going to be is going to have two phases the first one is going to be just just a general uh, interview and the second part is going to be um, just uh, uh, the specific like the interview questions that are going to be specific for the position yeah so the expected outcomes are uh, learning how to create a job description a detailed job description uh, learning how to create interview questions and learning how to create, uh, how to screen uh, CVs that have been submitted and using AI to summarize CVs uh, when you are screening them and use AI uh, for, uh, I think this one is repeated, for creating or writing the report. So, the, like the, the schedule is going to be the usual. So you're gonna have the challenge introduction, which we, we are having right now. 
and the interim submission is going to be on Wednesday, June the 5th, and the final is going to be on Saturday, June 8th. Okay, so let's come to the deliverables. So uh, for task one, what you're gonna do is write a job description and posting. So we have seven positions. So for, for the financial, for the finance position, you're gonna be uh, developing a job description that outlines key financial, uh, uh, like uh, the things that you are going to be looking at when hiring a finance person. So such uh, these things might be like financial planning, budgeting, forecasting, and reporting and so on. And you're gonna be also including uh, the required qualifications like experience, the number of years, uh, proficiency in software such as P3 uh, and so on, um, and relevant cert certifications. Do you want that person to be uh, like, SCCA certified uh, or uh, other cert certifications. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, like uh, like we have different certifications for different uh, like uh, financial uh, reporting mechanisms or methods. So you're gonna be also highlighting that one, the gap and uh, GAAP and so on. Uh, okay, so for the IT. For the information te technology when developing uh, a job description, you're gonna be looking at software developers, IT support specialists, and uh, network administrators. Uh, and you're gonna be uh, highlighting essential skills and qualifications such as uh, programming la language. So which programming language do you want in to be? Uh, like proficiency. So is it uh, Python, is it uh, JavaScript and so on. And so the cyber security knowledge and IT certifications and educations of course also. Um, okay, so moving on to business. Yeah, any quick questions uh, before I move on? Okay. Okay, so for the business development, you're gonna be focusing on responsibilities such as uh, identifying business opportunities, building partnerships, and uh, like driving sales growth. So you're gonna be lo looking for a person which has these uh, responsibilities and uh, specific qualifications such as strong ne negotiation skills, uh, marketing research capabilities, and experience in business strategy. So you're gonna be looking at this. So you, you're gonna be lo looking at uh, like having these uh, skills, just integrating these skills into the job description. And for public relation, you're gonna be focusing on managing the, the company's public image, media relations, and communication strategies. And that's the, the skills that you are going to be looking at or looking for in a candidate are going to include uh, like uh, excellent co communications, both in written and the verbal, uh, media relations experience, and a background in PR or public relation or communications. And for the digital media, you're gonna be uh, creating a job post or description, uh, like social media manager, content creator, uh, digital marketing specialist, and so on and the skills that you are going to be looking at or looking for are going to be uh, content creation, social media ma management, SEO, and experience in digital marketing tools and platforms, of course, like the social media platforms. Uh, okay, so for uh, 
sense, you're gonna be uh, writing or drafting a job description uh, for sales role, uh, like who's going to be responsible uh, for lead generation, client relation management, and just for achieving sales targets. So the specific qualifications are going to, you are going to be looking at are, going, are strong sales skills, experience in CRM softwares, um, and proven track, uh, the proven track of meeting, and even exceeding sales goals. And the final one is going to be our HR, the human resource position. And uh, you're gonna be focusing on tasks such as record, recruitment, employee re relations, performance management, and uh, compliance with the law of the labor law. And the qualities, the qualifications are going to be uh, experience, uh, past experience in HR, uh, and knowledge of the employment laws or the labor law and relevant HR uh, certifications. So uh, for task one, you can use uh, AI in order to help you to get started on drafting uh, or uh, by uh, for creating a draft of uh, the job description. Uh, and when you uh, like, when you make or when you create the job descriptions, you need to create a folder uh, that's called job descriptions and store all seven job descriptions in that folder. And you're gonna be sharing the folder for task one. Exactly, you guys. Okay. Okay, so after you have created the uh, job descriptions, people are going to apply and you have created like, you're gonna be selecting five candidates and you need to prepare the interview questions, right? So uh, when creating uh, the interview questions, you're gonna be reviewing the job de description because you're gonna be starting from there so you're gonna uh, review each job description in order to write the questions. And when reviewing the job de descriptions, you need to identify key uh, competencies. So these are the things that you are going to be lo lo uh, looking at when interviewing an, uh, like a candidate or uh, someone you are looking to hire. So you're gonna develop general interview questions. This is going to be the first one. So uh, when developing a general uh, interview questions, just prepare a set of interviews uh, for that can be used for all uh, positions. So uh, like you're gonna need your uh, like your uh, candidate to be a good fit uh, for your uh, team culture, right? So you're gonna be asking questions just to check if he's culturally fit. Uh, you're gonna be asking him about uh, ethnicity, uh, like uh, like work ethics, so sorry, not ethnicity. Teamwork, problem solving, just get to know the, like, just get to know about the candidates. So some of the examples uh, that you can use are so some of the example questions for just the general interview is, uh, can you tell me about yourself and your background? Just uh, gi giving the candidates to explain himself or to introduce himself. And uh, why are you interested in joining this company? And uh, like, just share the challenges and uh, you faced in the past and how you handled it uh, and so on. So these are going to be uh, quick, quick questions that can be used for all seven positions. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
So this question, this uh, the interview, the general interview questions are going to be used or can be used for all uh, positions. Yeah. So after that, you're gonna be creating uh, department specific questions. So these are going to be specific for that department. So for the uh, for the finance, you might ask about. Uh, like experience in financial forecasting and budgeting and uh, the, the accuracy in your financial reports for the past from the past or yeah and his um, like efficiency or uh, like proficiency in using uh, softwares financial softwares and so on and for the IT you can be asking like where the programming language that he is proficient in or comfortable in and about the projects that he has done and uh, like uh, other specific things like troubleshoot the speed uh, the time when you had troubleshoot complex and issues it issues what did you do and yeah and so on so for the business uh, de development uh, candidates you might ask them about how they approach the potential business partners and how they uh, create a business strategy and so on. So you can go through these things and these examples are just to get you started. So you need to come up with these types of questions by depending or uh, by starting, by reviewing the job descriptions you have created. So you cannot, like uh, if you are looking for a junior or an entry level uh, job and you're uh, on the interview, you are asking about like uh, uh, their past or your experience and so on, it's not gonna work. So you need to be, the questions need to be specific to the uh, job description. So the interviews and the job descriptions need to align. So after you did, uh, you create the uh, questions, just general and uh, specific ones. You're gonna review the resumes uh, we have provided and you're gonna select uh, five candidates at random. Uh, and you're gonna check each uh, resume for qualifications. So uh, under the folder, there are seven sub Folders and under the every subfolder is just containing the resume or the CV for uh, candidates of each department, right? So you you're gonna select the five candidates that you want to per, per, pursue with, and uh, the things that you are going to check are going to be qualifications, like does he meet the qualifications and requirement of the positions that you have drafted or written on the job description experience you're going to lo look at the, that person's experience work experience and see if it's a good fit with the job description that you have created skill and certifications are uh, the things that you are going to check and you can use ai just to help you screen uh, these candidates and you're going to come up with two candidates for each department or for each job posting. So from five, you're gonna have a best fit two. So uh, the last task is going to be just communicating this, just reporting and communication. So uh, you're gonna write, uh, you're, you're gonna sum summarize all the screening in the interview process for each candidate. Uh, and you're gonna organize the data into ca categories like strengths, weakness, uh, skills, experience, and cultural fit. And you're gonna uh, use a table just to have organized these things and keep track of the information for each candidate. And uh, you're gonna provide a summary for the top.
Okay. I think, uh, yeah. Okay, I think you lost me. Let me share my screen again. And can someone t tell me where uh, I start? The end. Just task. Task four. Just the end. So, uh, task four. Okay. Okay. The end. So, this one. So let me just go through task four again. So you have created the interviews, you have screened the candidates and you have came up with a, like uh, for this part, the task four, you're gonna come up with a report. So you're gonna, for this report, you're gonna summarize and uh, from the screening in the interview process, uh, what you have gained. So uh, you're, you're gonna organize each, uh, each candidate's strengths, weakness, skill and experience and culture fit in a table and just to, to keep track of the information. So this is easier to summarize and just to choose the best fit, right? So uh, you're gonna have a candidate summary. So for the candidates summary, you're gonna provide a summary of the top two candidates for each department. So you had five, and you're gonna come up with a summary of the top candidates for each department, and you're gonna highlight the key points that, uh, or from the re resume that you have observed, and what led you. So these things are going to be the reasons that led you to choose them, right? So you, you're gonna do that. And uh, for the comparative uh, analysis, you're going to compare the top candidates uh, for each department and highlight their skills in their CV. So uh, the first thing you're going to do for task four is going to be, uh, sorry, so uh, all the summaries from the screening and the interview process for each candidate will be collected with. And then you're gonna organize these things, like the strengths, the weakness, the skill, experience, and culture fit for each candidate of each category. And you're gonna use a table just to keep, uh, to, uh, keep track of this information. Yeah, so is it clear, uh, guys? Okay. Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. Okay, so for the submissions, for web Wednesday the entry submission, uh, you're gonna have, you're gonna be uh, submitting a PDF, uh, a PDF file. Uh, so the submission is going to be for task one. So if you remember the task one is going to be uh, just creating the job description and posting for each department. So, um, okay. okay, yeah, so yeah, uh, you're going to be providing that, that one for the task one, you're going to be providing it on the entry submission, we you're going to have be writing it in a, a PDF file. And for the final submission, you're going to include uh, task two after task four. Uh, and the final submission is going to include, okay, I'm sorry, I think my PC is getting stuck. Yeah, okay. So for, for uh, the task two, you're gonna be writing the interview questions for each department. You're gonna be uh, having both the general interview questions and the uh, department specific interview questions for your department, you're going to include that. 
and for tasks free uh, so we just selecting five random resumes for each department and you're gonna be analyzing them and you're gonna pick the top two and explain their qualification experience skills and certifications and uh, for task four you're gonna be uh, reporting and communicating a brief interview over, overview of what you have done the, the process and the objective of the hiring uh, and you uh, create a summary for the top country or departments by including their key points, the strengths, the weakness, the culture fit, and so on. And you're gonna compare the top candidates within each department, with each uh, department, and highlight their strengths in their CV. Okay. So for the tutorial sessions, uh, so we just type the introduction, the challenge, and you uh, in the afternoon you will, we're gonna have the creating job descriptions with Yaya and creating interview questions is going to be tomorrow morning with Reddit and uh, on Wednesday we're gonna have a session on screening CVs by using AI. Uh, yeah. And on Thursday, we're going to have a Q&D session. So uh, that's it for uh, the introduction part. So if you guys have uh, any question, you can start. OK, I think there are some uh, questions from the chat box. Uh, yeah, so Jerome uh, Sachs asked uh, how applicants are going to apply and what if no one is fitting the requirement. So uh, we have provided the resumes for each department. So uh, the resumes are good resumes and that fit uh, most positions. So make sure to just, to just go through these resumes and take a look at them. And uh, for the second question, uh, Yes, yeah, yes. Um, task two, three, and four is going to be on one document or for the final submission. Yes, Colajo. Yes, I, yeah. Uh, you can go. Any questions, guys? Okay, okay. Any other questions? Um, uh, so then, uh, there is a tool, but I don't think uh, it's from the UI, I think. Uh, so the tool I use is from Python, but for you, you're just going to select the five candidates and you can use chat gpt to review the pdf so chat gpt uh, I, I don't know if you have seen the new chat gpt it can accept pdf files so you can just feed it the pdf files and it can uh, just uh, help you with the screening process okay any other questions or is it clear? Uh, okay, three people understand this. What about the rest? Yeah, it is clear. Okay. okay in that case, uh, I think we can end the session here.